Gencon 2015, Mark Arnado filming from the booth of Aiello, where there is a new game that is being presented here, which is Medieval Academy. And we have Jim from Aiello, who has agreed to tell us a little bit about this new release. Thank you, Jim. Well, welcome to Medieval Academy. As you see here as our hero, you can do several things as our hero. One, you can save the princess. Two, you can fight an honorable battle. Three, you can joust. Four, you can become knowledgeable. You can, you can also become the king, and it's good to be the king. You can fight the evil dragon, or you can give to charity. There are benefits for being the best at these things. So if you come in the top three out of these things, the first person gets three points, second person gets second, gets two and one. With those points, you can choose to move your other pawns around the board. If you are the best fighter, you will get three victory points. Second is two victory points, and three is one victory point. Same thing here. The both boards are the same. When you become knowledgeable, this is just the opposite. The least knowledgeable people get negative three victory points and negative one. So the object is not to be negative. These first four boards score every round. This board to become the king only scores on the third and sixth round. This shows you what rounds they score on. If you get to here, you get six victory points. If you get to here, you get 12 victory points. It doesn't matter the place. Also, to defeat the dragon, the winner gets 17 victory points, 10 victory points, and four victory points. This only scores on the final round. If you are charitable, the least charitable, if you're not very nice, gets negative 10 victory points and negative five victory points. Again, this only scores on the final round. Also keep in mind, this number here shows you when they reset. So all four of these reset on the third round. Okay, any questions so far? That's one question. If you stay at the last place, do we get more? Yes, if you are in last place in that move, you all get negative. So what is the question? If you're on start, uh -huh. you get the worst both, okay, both yeah. of you will, or everybody there. Mm -hmm. If you are on the last place, you cannot benefit from any of these, even if you're in second or third place. Mm -hmm. You must be active, except for negative. Now you're going to ask, how do you get these points? It is going to be a drafting mechanism. We start by drawing, everybody will have five cards. We choose which card we want to keep. Higher numbers are good, and we want a variety. And then we will pass that to the left. Everybody will do this till we have five cards. Once you have five cards again, you will take turns. You're only going to play four. You will play a card, and then you will move your pawn. This is knowledge. I am red. One, two, three, four, five. I will move this. If somebody else has five, then somebody else draws. Let's say you play your card for three. That would be to save the princess. You are blue. One, two, three. We will play four times. If somebody lands on top of somebody, blue is now in first place. Red would be in second place. Okay? You will play six rounds. Also, when you earn victory points, you will keep them. We will all be aware of them on that round. But then they will be turned over because people have a combination of negative and positive, and it will be harder to keep track. Okay? Any questions? Perfect. All right. The last card? We discard it? You discard the last card, then we reshuffle, and we do it again. How long is the game? Our length of time is about, I believe, 30 minutes. Around 30 minutes. Around and 30 minutes. how many players? Uh, five players, up to five players. Okay, sounds great. Simple and intuitive. Thank you very much for giving me an intro. All right, thank you. So.